Welcome to Ritual Scale Modeling. This is part two of Mini Arts British M3 Lee. Scale is 1 to 35. In part one, I introduced the model and uh, what was in the box. In this part, I'm going to be starting to build the model, starting off with the lower hull. And if you haven't watched the um, introduction uh, video, uh, just bear in mind on this uh, kit, I'm doing it slightly different from how I normally do it. Normally I would prime the entire uh, model on the sprue beforehand. This time uh, I'm not going to be doing that, I'm just going to be building on the bare plastic and then I'll be priming it once the kit's built. Now generally I prime on the sprue and this is really due just for um, time factors. Uh, you can save a lot of time just getting all the priming done out of the way then um, just taking a little bit of the primer off when it comes to um, assembling the kit. But there's a lot of sprues here, particularly in the traps uh, links. So it, I decided not to prime it because there would be far too much work involved taking off the primer for the um, contact points. So this is why it's not primed. Just in case you're wondering, you think, oh, this is not prime. This is not what he normally does. So I just thought about state that from the start so that you understand uh, what's going on. So anyway, as I said, I'm going to be building the part of the lower hull in this video. So let's jump in and see how well I get on. So to begin, um, I'm having to make up the uh, hull. So to begin the process, first of all, I'm uh, placing in the two components that are going to hold the drive wheel and they just slip, play, uh, slot into the recess hole there and onto the front section of the hull this part was actually quite difficult to fit because um, it goes on at a, a slight angle and the instructions are not exactly clear um, how it goes on so it took a, a bit of dry fitting to figure out um, how it goes it's just um, a strange shape if you are doing this kit um, do the bottom plate first, um, I, I'm doing it second here, but um, you may find it easier to do it that way, uh, to line the unit up. But as you can see there, it's just uh, popping in, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to um, get it to bond. I, I just decided uh, not to wait until it was fully bonded, just in case I had to make any adjustment. And I should point out, don't be alarmed at the gaps there, they're actually meant to be there, um, you won't see them at all. So onto the side panelling, uh, I'm placing in the uh, gun ports, or the, the windows as such, not the gun ports. Now, you have different options uh, on the variant, so you can have these opened or closed. Um, I have decided to have the whole model um, closed, so um, putting on the um, covers was easy enough. If you're having them open, then, then there's uh, lots of clear parts that you have to place in. So the first, the first um, side wall goes on to the, to the hull, and that just uh, lines up fairly easily with the bottom half there. The next part is one of the bulkheads. Um, it's only the top part you'll see of, of this um, particular uh, piece, unless you're having the interior open, of course. I'm placing in the clear part here. Um, now, obviously this model is not primed, um, so I would have to mask this off. I, in the end, I, I, I did leave it in, and but I just popped it back out because I didn't want to go through the hassle and uh, uh, masking it off and, and so forth. You know, but um, you, you can just put a bit of crystal clear in there uh, to form a window uh, once you um, uh, place it, uh, got the whole model built and ready to prime. It depends how you, you wish to build it really. So now is uh, for the side skirt um, panelling to, to go on. This lies on the top and with the overhang of course. The location points are well defined so um, there was no issue trying to get this piece to fit. So I'm just placing on the second part so you have a bit better view how it just pops on. And then the first of the bulkheads, this is the one with the little window in it. Um, uh, as you can see, there's um, uh, a little recess hole in there. I can't remember exactly what that was for. 
but I, I think if I recall rightly, it's um, it's a, a port inside the uh, vehicle itself. Um, so again, don't worry about it if you're having it all um, closed up. So the rear rear section is going in now, and as you can see, this is fitting beautifully. It just pops in with no fuss. The interior of the tank is really well designed. Um, what I'm building here is mainly for the interior, which you won't see in uh, in my build. I'm building this just to show you a, a little bit of it. The there's uh, various uh, little uh, parts to be placed on in the hole, and it does actually help support the outer shell of the tank, but it's not really necessary to have them in um, if you think they're too fiddly to put in. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the space is tight, but uh, um, it is well designed and well thought out. So when you put this uh, back piece in, there's um, a location point that runs right along the bulkhead for it to sit on. The, there's two struts that um, stand up from it and that helps support the top part. But uh, as I said, if you're not showing the interior, you don't necessarily have to uh, place uh, them in. The next uh, two parts you really do have to put in, these are uh, two of the side supports. The reason why you, you, you really have to put these in is because the photo edge grill backs up into it. And it's essential as well that you get these two pieces uh, straight and sitting properly uh, inside their own uh, little housing or the um, photo edge part will not fit. So I'm using some PVA glue here for the um, photo edge part. Now you can use super glue obviously, um, I do tend to lean more onto the super glue side of things but um, you actually get a better bond with PVA glue um, on photo edge parts in my opinion, uh, other people do have other opinions of course, it just takes longer to dry. So if, if you're okay waiting for the dry time, um, use the PVA. If, if you want it uh, to be set and move on to the next part of the build, then by all means use uh, some super glue. And this is to fit the actual photo part, uh, edge part itself. And it just sits in backing up to the two plates. And um, it makes sure it's sitting inside the recess and not sticking out. It can be, be a little tricky to fit this part. And moving on to the two cable brackets. These are two parts um, that go together. They're very small um, and they can be very fiddly to work with. These are the rear doors for the uh, tank. There's a couple of 4 inch parts here, uh, handles, that go onto the um, main joint of the doors. Um, I would leave them off if you're not comfortable doing such uh, tiny parts like that. They are barely noticeable, but it's nice to have them on. Um, you know, but um, they, they are absolutely tiny and um, a lot of people may struggle actually placing them on, so don't feel guilty if they, you decide to leave them off. There's also photo edge parts for the two real lights which I'm making up now. These have to be bent uh, before uh, you place the actual um, light housing into them. Uh, again, they're very small but you really can't leave these ones off, it just wouldn't look right. So um, you, you, you're going to have to persevere with this one. So to build the back, first of all the two drive uh, motors are going on and then I'm placing on the uh, tow cable brackets and then the doors. Now the, the doors, um, obviously you can have them open or closed, mine's are closed so they were easier to fit, the, the, there was no drama. I would, I, I would suggest if you are building this in, in the open position, don't put them on until the, near the end because you don't want them to break off while you're handling the model. And now for the exhaust. The, the exhausts are fairly easy to um, make up. The, the two halves for the main part of the exhaust, then the part that connects to the tank and a, a connecting top. Um, it's all fairly self-explanatory how they go together. You shouldn't have any issues. Next is to place on the two rear lights. Now I'm doing this before I put the main um, part onto the actual tank. Um, because of that small, it's a lot easier just to build them onto the part before placing the main part on, as you can see here. 
So imagine trying to get that little bit onto there once the, that was in place. It'd be quite difficult. And as you can see, I was having problems um, connecting that bit as well. But that, that was just my clumsy fingers. And it's interesting to note as well, um, if you didn't fit the um, photo etch part properly, these um, uh, two side units here would not be able to fit uh, inside the proper location. So all that's left to do before I close up part two is uh, to place the exhaust on. And they just fit um, on their own location point. So if you haven't done already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification bell, hit that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.